These nine trading myths you think are true are costing you a lot of money in trading. I've been in the market for some time and I've been talking to you guys on YouTube as well. And I keep on hearing these nine points and they are definitely not true at all. But it's very sad to see that a lot of people still believe in them. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. This is Ajay Ajit. Welcome to Market Field. The first point, trading without a stop loss is better. People have a lot of arguments and justifications for this, including concepts like stop loss hunting. But then what they don't realize is that with this excuse, a lot of people go into a trade without any plan at all. Even if you do not have a stop loss, make sure you have a stop loss in your mind. Even if you do not have it typed into the system, make sure you have it in your mind so that you have a trading plan set. Otherwise, how are you going to assess the risk and reward of that specific trade? The second myth that I always hear is that longer time frame trades are easier. I'll give you this example to understand more. Have you heard someone tell you that swing trading is much more easier, much more peaceful than intraday trading? But definitely that is not true at all. Let me tell you why. If you're a pure chart reader, I'm sure you'll agree with me because the charts are what speak to us. The charts are the data that you should be going by and it does not matter if the candle is a one-day candlestick or even a five-minute candlestick. If you are a trader, if you are a good trader, in fact, you will make money. If you are a bad trader, you will continue to still lose money. The only difference here is that when you are taking a swing trade, for example, the time frame is much more. That means your chance of overtrading is lesser. Correct. And again, as I said earlier, since some people do not have any trading plan at all, they use this as an excuse. Swing trading, yes, uh, let's go and buy the stock, but we will not book any losses even if the stock moves down. That's how people see it. But if you think of it in this perspective, be it a swing trade or an intraday trade, if you have a trading plan and if you know how to read charts well, you will end up making money. But if you have no plan and you don't know how to read charts properly, you will end up losing money. It's as simple as that. The time frame does not play as much of a role as you think it does. The third myth that I always keep on hearing is that leverage is bad. Like every other thing in your life, you can use something to your advantage and use you can use something to your disadvantage as well. The same goes for leverage. If you're a good trader and you know what you're doing, you can use leverage for you. You can make it work for you to end up making more money. But again, if you're a bad trader, leverage is just a shortcut to blow up your capital. So make sure you're not an extremist, that you're making sure that you do not believe leverage is a super awesome tool, that if I had leverage, my world would change. But make sure you do not think in the other way also, where leverage is bad, nobody should take leverage and that it will destroy your trading capital. So make sure you keep an open mind to these sort of things. The fourth myth is that trading with a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 1 is gambling. Again, let me give you this example. So say you are a super awesome trader where you have confidence that 90% of your trades are making money for you. And in that 90% of trades, you are earning 1 rupee per trade as profit. So how much money are you making in those 90 trades? You are making 1 rupee per trade that is equal to 90 rupees of total profits. But in the remaining 10 trades that you are losing, you are losing 3 rupees per trade. So what is the risk to reward ratio here? That is for every 1 rupee that you stand to make in a trade, you might end up losing 3 rupees in that trade. So a risk to reward ratio of 3 is to 1 which is not ideal at all. But think about it, you're a good trader and in those 90 trades, you end up making a profit of 90 rupees. But in the remaining trades, you end up losing 30 rupees. In the end, you're still having a profit of 60 rupees even with a bad risk to reward ratio. So do not think that risk to reward ratio should always be better than 1 is to 1. Do have this concept in mind as well. Now this brings us to our fifth myth, which is trading with a win rate of less than 50% is not ideal at all. So imagine you're a super awesome trader who's making a lot of profits when you're profitable, but when you're making loss, which is majority of the time, you're taking smaller, smaller losses. Is this okay? Think about it. I would say it is totally okay as long as at the end of the day you're profitable. So do combine the fourth and fifth myth together and then you'll get a total view of the market which is combining risk to reward ratio as well as winning rate to evaluate your trades. Now the sixth myth I keep on hearing everywhere. You can start trading with even a capital of 1000 rupees but trust me you can't. A trader who is coming into the market with this 1000 rupees will surely blow his account. Because that trader who is coming into the market with just 1000 rupees, he'll have high hopes. Because he is, has another job, he has other sources of income as well. And he thinks that from here he has to earn at least 500 rupees per day. 
Do you think it is possible? 50 percentage ROI per day. It is not possible at all. So in order to make money from the market, you definitely need to have a capital to get started with. 1000 rupees will not help you at all. Now the seventh myth or the mistake that I commonly see is justifying bad trades with a good risk to reward ratio. This often happens when I see the case of people buying out of the money call options that is far away call options or put options and then buying the same people buying penny stocks as well. They keep on telling me, hey Ajay, if I lose, I only lose what? 10 rupees. But if I make, I'll make 1000 rupees. How awesome is that? Here, the risk to reward ratio is really amazing. So think about it. When you're taking a super risky position, you also have to think about your winning rate as well. This is what most people miss and they end up justifying themselves. Who are they trying to trick? I don't know, either themselves or others who are around them by justifying that it is okay to just take this 10 rupee call option because there is a slight possibility that it will turn into say 100 or 500 rupees. This is definitely not true in the case of either cheap options or in the case of penny stocks as well. So make sure you know this myth and understand it before you start trading in the market. The eighth myth that I want to discuss will surely be controversial because it is a saying that screen time in the market will make you become a successful trader. Do you believe this? I do not believe this at all. Because there are two ways in this world that you can learn any concept at all. You can learn it the right way or you can learn it the wrong way. So if you're someone who is doing things the wrong way, just imagine even if you're reading the charts for a long time, if you're doing it wrong, then definitely you'll end up becoming a worse trader. And you might have all had that one friend in school or college who chills with you, goes out with you, parties with you. But at the end of the day, he has much better marks than you. This is the difference between reading or doing things the correct way and learning it in the wrong way. Make sure you're doing things the correct way so that your fundamentals are set and then from there you can start building. Do not blindly believe just because you sit in charts for the entire day, you will automatically become a good trader. And this brings us to our ninth myth which says my friends that option selling is much more riskier than option buying. All forms of trading has its pros and cons and definitely there are a lot of option sellers who are making money. There are a lot of option buyers who are making money as well. And there are people who are losing money on both sides. So why is this saying keeping on repeating that option selling is much more riskier? Say you're someone who's trading with a capital of 1 lakh rupees. And if you're selling options with proper hedging, that is proper safety nets in place, the max to max risk that you have in a single trade, even in the case of any black swan event, could be limited to 15 percentage or even slightly lesser. Just think about it. If you're an option buyer, just because you're an option buyer and what if you go put in that 1 lakh rupees in an out of the money call option buy and market does not move that way, you will end up losing your entire account. So definitely do not be an extremist. This is what we discussed in the third myth about leverage as well. Do not blindly believe that option buying is uh, so easy or so risky. Do not blindly believe that option selling is also so easy or even so risky. Do have an open mind that is when you will start winning in the market. So I know some of these nine myths might seem very logical or reasonable to you, but it is very sad to see that some traders still in this market today do not understand the reality in these. So I'm sure once you open up your mind, to the fact that everyone in the market can make money, it is possible, it is probable, be it option seller, option buyer, person who takes leverage, person who does not take leverage, someone with a win ratio of 30 percentage, someone with a win ratio of say 90 percentage. Once you accept all these facts, that is when you become a holistically good trader in the market. So that's it guys, make sure you watch our last video as well, which talks about how successful traders in the market make money. It is a review of a book which interviews 17 different traders who are pro traders who have made a lot of money and their learnings and mistakes in the market. And if you're a trader who does not want to take care of any of these headaches at all, there's a secret link in the description which you can fill out to join our special Algo Trading Workshop. In the workshop, we'll teach you how to automate all the strategies that you see on MarketFeed app. So this is Ajay signing off. See you all in another video.